videos, uh, chances are you've probably heard you should let your cell phone battery completely drain before charging. Reporter Brandon Lewis with our Verify team takes charge of this issue to see what the best practices truly are. Be honest, do you ever really put down your phone? If you're like most people, you need to charge your phone pretty often to keep up. Verify viewer Kathy emailed us to ask if it's true that you can impact the life of a battery by waiting to charge your phone until it's dead. So Kathy, let's verify. Does letting your phone's battery die before recharging extend the battery's lifespan? Our sources are cell phone makers Apple, Google, and Samsung, and Osa Ruman, even a Jesu, with battery replacement franchise Batteries Plus. Most cell phone batteries are lithium ion, which requires a lot of energy to charge from dead to 20% and from 80 to 100%. Cell phone makers Apple, Samsung, and Google say the energy generates a lot of heat, which hurts the battery. If that's your common practice, that's not good for the life of the battery. All of our sources say it's best for the long-term health of lithium ion batteries to keep a charge between 20 and 80%. Some new phones even limit or slow charging once your phone is at least 80% charged to help keep you from straining the battery. So no, letting your phone's battery die before recharging does not extend the battery's lifespan. It can actually decrease it. The same advice goes for lithium ion batteries that are used in power tools, appliances, and other electronics. To find out what kind of battery your device uses, check the instruction manual or label. With your Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis.